Other than sumac, Egyptian knot is my favorite stitch. I love the texture that it creates. It's actually the inverse of sumac. When we take this off and flip it over, we will see Egyptian knot on the back side of our sumac stitch. I just did one row of Egyptian knot, but I know it's really hard to see, so I'm going to show you again with this blue color. Start with your needle going in the direction that you're traveling, and your needle will go under your first warp string. Then your needle will go around this warp and then underneath your warp string. Basically, you're doing single wrapping, but you're always starting on the underneath side of your warp string. So for my second one, I needed to go under my warp string, wrap around, and then go back under that same warp string. Just like with sumac, you want to keep your working weft above you and your needle underneath. In order to make this go faster, you can go underneath the warp string you need to wrap around and then also go underneath the next one. So I'm wrapping that warp string and I'm ready on the next one to wrap again. So I'm going underneath this warp string to wrap and then under the next one as well. Again, keep your needle underneath your working weft. This stitch also takes quite a bit of yarn, so I cut off about two arms length so that I could go on a second pass without running out. I kind of want to pull this tight. You don't want to have a big loop of your weft where you're wrapping. For my second pass, I need to go under my second warp string so I don't just undo what I did on my first row at the end. And then I will wrap around this warp string and also go underneath the next one. So again, I'm keeping my needle below my working weft. I'm going underneath this warp string and then underneath the next one. I've done three rows of Egyptian knot and you can really see that texture starting to develop and I just love this stitch because of the interesting um, kind of relief that it creates. Sometimes if you did a lot of this it would be a little bit much so it's nice to kind of do um, a row of tabby every once in a while if you want to kind of break up the space.